Hey, welcome to the Bass Newbie again. Today we're down to one of my favorite spots on my favorite river. Targeting some bass, maybe even some corn walrus. You guys don't know what a corn, wal wal eh, corn walrus is. It's carp, but uh, they get pretty big in here and they, they're they drag screamers. And I love it when my drag screams. But yeah, we're gonna start out with a good old Ned rig and see if we can't catch a couple smallies. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's go. It ain't small either. No, there's no bass here, eh? Ah. <clears throat> oh, ho, buddy. Come on over here, you. Yeah. Hey, boy. Yeah, he's a good three, three and a half pounder. Ned rig. <clears throat> Mm, holy moly, you're strong. Open your mouth. Holy moly, I can't even hold on to him. Ah. Ah. Ned rig, right in the corner of the mouth. I thought I was getting nipped by the Ned rig. Beep. Yeah. It's pretty big, guys. Check it out. Ah, well, he's about a 19 incher. He's fat too. He's got a real good belly on him. Definitely feeding up for fall. Right on. First catch of the day. Nice. Chunky. Smally. Heck yeah. Alright. I'll get you back in there, buddy. See ya. Oh, we already got one in this hole. Not bad, not bad. Nice chunker too. Probably three and a half pounder, probably like 19, 18, 19 inches. Good old Ned rig. See if I can taste another one here to bite my lure. Get another hungry one. My only problem is, is that fish pecked at it six times and he ripped one of my claws right off so I might have to switch up the plastic and put a new plastic on there because he's only got one claw but I think because he looks injured and he's only got one claw that might even uh, get him to strike even more make him think it's a nice easy meal because he's missing a claw Yeah, so far so good. Can't complain. We got ourselves a couple, or at least one good fish so far. Can't complain about that. Well, we've been down here about 10 minutes too, so that's pretty juicy. Oh, I got another one that got off. No, no. Dang it. Dang it. No. How did he not get hooked on that? I set the hook too, like, good. Dang it. So yeah, this time of year, even with a Ned rig, you don't really want it on bottom. Because these fish, they're keying into stuff. They're kind of looking up this time of year. They're not looking down. Oh, that was good. That was a good fish too. So I'm sort of just kind of reeling it in, kind of like a swim bait, but just real slow. And I'm just feeling those pecks, just peck, 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 peck. But that was, that was a thump. That one was a thump. Dang it. <sighs> Man, I am getting pantsed. They're pants in this jig. Might just be a small one, just not inhaling it all the way, but. Consistent bites. Definitely getting some cons consistent bites. So I got the day off work. Pretty much the only reason I got to go fishing today. And this is that last day before that cold front supposed to move through here on the Thanksgiving weekend. So hopefully I can get a couple fish 
before things go real cold and real sour on the weekend. But yeah, I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling that today's gonna go well, especially after that first smolly. They're definitely feeding up. And you should have a couple friends out here. They should be schooled up out here. All right, we're gonna move downstream here to a different spot and uh, see if we can't find ourselves another fish. Oh, I got one, I got another one. A little guy. Whoop. Oh, he's not that little, I guess. He's decent. Yeah. The old jigging worm. Beautiful. All right, backflip. <laughs> you guys ever seen that video? The backflip video? Alright, well, we're gonna move down river. Got ourselves two bass so far. Doing pretty good. Let's head on down to another spot. Alright, well, we moved down river. Now we're out here just targeting some carp. See if we can't get the old swamp donkey, the old corn walrus. The old swamp salmon. What? I'm a swamp. I'm a swamp donkey. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. Oh, Emily's got an old rock mass. Pass them over. See if I can get them on hook for you. Explore. Yay! Live, buddy. Cool guy. You got something. Woo! Play into them. Okay, everybody reel in. Everybody reel in. Everybody reel in. Everybody reel in. She's got one. 100% Emily's got a carpage. Loosen it a bit so he can run with it. Oh yeah, that's a chunk. That's a big carp, Emily. Had to see him. Nice. Nice, Emily. That's a good fish. Look at you go. Look at the strain. Look at the concentration on this angler's face. He doesn't want to give up, man. I gotta wait for the right opportunity. Yeah, I know, I know. Got him, yeah. got him. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. He's barely hooked right, he's barely hooked right in the corner of the mouth. He's tired. Pliers? That is big, Emily. That's bigger than the one you caught before down here. I got this. No, no, don't worry about it. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah, you can hold it. Oh, I can hold it. <laughs> Smile. Smile. <laughs> Say that again without swearing? Sorry. You put up a... Nope, I can't. You put up a freaking fight, bud, that's for sure. Holy moly. There right. was on him, and there's a little sucker left. <sighs> Boy, you got a pretty mouth, boo. That was a lot of work. Backflip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Emily. You did a good release video on there. Yeah. Well, yeah, you hold her shirt. You're blocking it, but that's okay. Oh, oh there he goes. Yeah, Look at her Put her there. I'm lucky. Look what she had done to her. Right reel. on. Alrighty, well, we had a pretty good day. Caught a couple bass. One big carp for Emily, probably her PB carp. I'm guessing it was about 15 pounds. He was a nice carp. But yeah, good multi-species day. And uh, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that sub, hit that like button. We'll see you next time on the Bass Newfie. Peace.